Hello, I'm Jason. I'm making a movie with my homies. It's our fourth feature length film. It's a hard journey. We don't have money. We don't have any resources. We basically, basically, barely, basically, barely have nothing. And I'm doing a little documenting of this. What I really need to do is stop doing these, edit something professional, and put it out to the world like a call for action. Like, hey, do you believe in us? And would you like to join our team? That's what I should be doing. Instead, I'm doing these dumbass things. You dumb shit. Our music video is finally done. I'm wondering if I'd make something with all the behind the scenes, which is kind of fun on a project, you know, especially since we have a lot of it and we have a bunch of big personalities and and we got like a professional camera going, we got a VHS camera going. We have hours of footage. Or do I just wash my hands with it and just delete the project? I don't know what the fuck is going around with our channel. We've got like 24,000 subs and no views. I still am convinced that people who hate me bought us fake subscribers. I know that almost sounds mentally ill, but I don't know what's going on. Or it's just that we have been demonetized four times. This is take five. I've said this so many fucking times. But one more time, we've been demonetized so many times and we're back and we're just kind of like blacklisted. That's not what they call it, is it? Shadow banned. That we're kind of shadow banned because we deal in the realm of pornography. I don't know anything about YouTube. I know very little about social media. I spent hours yesterday on social media and it felt so fucking gross. Abe figured out how to open our um, Facebook. It'd been like 14 months since we opened it. And I wish we would have just left it alone. I want to fucking delete that. Except for exactly what I'm saying right now is we need um, eyes on us. Which means I should stop doing this fucking project. And I don't know what's going on. And now with the Twitter thing, at least I understand that. If you don't pay for the check mark, they don't show you. I could make a cool ass post and it gets nine views. So now our Twitter's just like our YouTube. Uniformity. I don't know what's going on. If someone can help with any of that shit. Anyways, I'm super glad it's done. The band saw it and didn't say a single thing. Just like when they uh when we went and shot their live show i've shot a hundred bands and it's so cool when they always give you the shout out hey barefoot's in the audience they didn't say a single thing though i shouldn't be saying this because it sounds mean but they didn't thank us which is okay but now the video's done and they don't even say anything which is weird and makes me think about not thanking us at the shoot so i wouldn't even have thought about the non-thanking if it wasn't the avoidance now but it took a long time pete says it took so long that they just don't care which is probably true if i if someone made something for me though and they gave it to me a year later i would still say something so based on how i treat people that's fucked up it's just weird but everyone likes it i got one of the best messages of my life about it's so impressive about how my brain works something like that maybe i'll show it on the screen i did take a screenshot of it i should look at that thing like seven times a day because i deal with so much stupid shit that we're not going to talk about and um that would maybe help me get through the days so what is going on with our channel how can we get some eyes on our stuff I don't care about likes and subscriptions and 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 star fucking, but I do care about views. Just watch. We've always cared about views. I make cool shit. I want people to see it. I just cut all day today the worst squeaky clean adult film ever, Maraschino Cherry. Our version makes no sense. And I'm still releasing it. I am so swamped with work. I'm just releasing a weird one. It makes no sense. No narrative sense. Looks good.
I worked, I, I started cutting. I did a weird exercise today. I, uh, I watched Influencer. I half-assedly watched Influencer while playing one of my like mind maze games. And I watched on another big screen all of the footage from our Ted, our temp scene, the actual side boob scene, which makes uh, our lead protagonist crack. I watched it all on silent. And then we have this whole block of dialogue where she addresses the camera. And as an experiment, um, I muted Influencer. I put down my game and I watched it twice on mute. Just an interesting way. I'm just like looking at her mannerisms and it might make no sense to you, but I learned a lot. I learned, a, when I first started getting into post-production, I went to degree to be a film editor. One of my favorite things to do was to put on a movie and press play and then fast forward. Not, you, you, it has to be on the screen, not the fast fast forward when it's turned off. You gotta fire it up and do fast forward, which is the you know slower fast forward. And you could probably get through on the on-screen fast forward I don't know, I think it takes maybe like eight minutes to watch the entire film. But you can learn so much about editing and pacing. And I just used to do that all the time. I would sit around just drinking with a stack of VHS, take another one out, pop it in, not rewind any of them, and just watch it, take some notes. And I'd have like an in and an out pile sitting, I had no furniture, sitting Indian style with just stacks of VHS on me. And I felt like I was doing that same kind of exercise today, watching Serenity. It's a scene where he's starting to crack. And so this isn't happening in reality. It's happening in his mind. She goes right up to him and addresses him. Um, you know, the teen girl is talking to the fucking creeper neighbor that's watching her out of the window. So it's all fantasy. It's not happening. And But just, we, we did it. We, we ran through the lines so many times. We did it as like, Okay, you're fucking pissed off. Okay, go. Um, you're disturbed and kind of creeped out. Go. Um, you find this comical. Like, you almost kind of like it. Okay, go. Um, now let's do it just really abstract. I kind of, want, kind of want you to bounce between the three. Okay, go. And so we have this huge block. It is like a 10-minute uh, chunk of unbroken camera raw footy of just serenity addressing directly to the camera closer than i am now i notice you're always looking at me i mean i can't help but notice you're always looking out of the window at me are you i'm just trying to weed whack my yard anyways um <laughs> those aren't really the lines um, those are roundabout, but, but she just went off and went off. Anyways, I watched it on mute, and I I was so mesmerized that when it got done, I went my back, I took the playhead back to the beginning, and I did it again. Not half-assedly with stuff going on in the background and playing a game and looking up. I sat there in silence with Serenity and watched her. And no, we did not do the taxi driver. Not once did we say, are you looking at me? I'm the only one here. Are you looking at my side boob? Because I'm the only, what am I fucking doing? Someone help us with social media. 